you're actually going back to school. You have two years left, major college. Mm-hmm. What do you What do you actually feel about about going back to school? How do you feel about college? Um, I feel like college isn't necessarily something that you need to pursue your goals because I did it without it before <laughs> having a degree. So I don't think it's something that you need, but my reasoning for going back is obviously my school's being paid for thanks to my dad being a vet. So I'm like, why not take advantage of the opportunity? Plus it'll look good, you know, having a degree yeah. a four year degree. But, um, I don't know. I don't think it's very necessary depending on what you want to do. Like if you want to be a doctor, obviously you're gonna have to go to school. Yeah. But like doing like different stuff, like being a business owner or like marketing, you don't really need a degree to do that. Like I've gained a whole bunch of marketing experience through myself. Yep. You know, and if I really wanted a marketing job that paid good, I'm pretty sure I could get it yep. based off of what I've done for myself. So I don't really think it's needed, but you know, and if you think about it, a lot of the people who are like millionaires and billionaires. They don't even have a degree. Yeah, I mean. The people who work for them are people like us mm -hmm. with a degree, and they don't have a degree. So you can do anything you put your mind to. I think it's interesting because the way life is set up, we've all been somewhat brainwashed. The way we've been (laughs) brainwashed. And the way we've been brainwashed is everyone has been told and pretty much programmed to be like this you have to do this in order to do this and when you fall into that line of you have to do this in order to do this you become a follower and we have a a society of followers that you know that invest thousands and thousands of dollars into college Mm -hmm. and and to your point you know you're going to school for free which is great so there's really no you know reason there's no reason for me to not take advantage of yeah yeah and plus the benefits you get while you're in school so, like, all things, you know, remain equal. If if you don't have that, you know, people, you know, I invest in the stock market. And I, I relate things to the stock market a lot. So, when you invest in yourself as a person going to college, you expect a return. Mm-hmm. And most people, when they go to college, they don't know what kind of return they're going to get or if they're even going to get one. When I buy a stock, I have a vision of what, I'm going to be getting at the end of, you know, let's say a year or two. Mm. I expect, hey, I should probably double my money. If I don't double it, then I'll probably at least make 50% on it. Mm -hmm. And when people go to college, they should have that same mentality. Like, hey, okay, I'm going to spend, you know, $200,000 on this degree. But in five years, I think that I'll be able to, you know, um, pretty much make all the money back from my initial investment. And I'll start to make money. Um, you know, on the positive side too, like you put so much money into school just to be in debt when you get done, like you always live your life in debt. It seems like, like the world is basically set up for you to fail. Set up for you to be stressed. Like the thing is like you make a bad investment and you know, it stresses you out. Like nobody wants to be in a stock that's going up and down, up and down, up and down, crazy, 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 you know, swings, especially if you have a lot of money invested in that Mm -hmm. stock. You know, because, you know, it's an emotional roller coaster. But it's the same thing with, with college. If you are investing in a degree that, you know, you know is not going to make you any money, then, you know, you're going to be stressed out when you graduate because now you're fighting this uphill battle trying to pay off student loans and you're not even paying it off because all you're paying is the interest. Yep. And you know how they get you with that. Um, so my whole thing is this, if you have an idea of what you actually want to do once you graduate and it makes sense that your investment will be paid off in a like reasonable amount of time, then great, go to college. But, you know, it's also one of those things where people who, you know, don't go to college tend to be the ones that, you know, do really, really creative, interesting things because they're not you know, confined to that degree and they, you know, they tend to just go out and and do things on their own without, you know, thinking, hey, I need to learn this, you know, from someone, from a professor, from a university. (laughs) 